Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La, La Land. I am so excited to welcome my dear friend to the show, JJ Jurgens. She is the creator and host of Tom Girl TV and one of the most adventurous spirits Aww. I know. Thank you for being with us today. <laughs> Thank you so much for having so me. I'm great so great to excited. finally meet you. Yeah, you too. Thank you yeah. guys for having me. This and you is have great. the coolest name, uh, isn't it? Thanks. It's just catchy. My mom actually, she liked the alliteration, and there yeah. was a, a sports writer in the small town in Nebraska they were from, so they, she thought that J.J. Jurgens, and then it worked, because I ended up playing sports and got in, you know, so I, I guess she set my intention out early for me. That's right. incredible. So tell us about your journey from Nebraska to La La Land. Okay, well, yeah, I grew up in a small town, from South Omaha, grew up on a lake, so grew up water skiing and boating. I loved growing up on the lake. It was the best possible <laughs> place to grow up. Um, and then I went to school. Uh, I always, uh, was a dancer growing up, and then I switched switched and started really got into a sport so I had to like give up get, kind of focus so I got into um, basketball I walked on at the University of Nebraska and wow. then um, it was always my dream to play there and then got scholarship for the last three years and then I always thought I wanted to be an advertising copywriter but then I was kind of not so sure so when I graduated I was working for Husker Vision which is like the big screens you see in stadiums so that was the big screen in Nebraska and they offered for me to stay there and get my degree in sports broadcasting and learn their avid there at the time and stay and start producing their coaches coaches shows so I was really loving it, realizing that I really liked more the entertainment TV aspect as well mm -hmm. instead of just strict copywriting. Uh, so I worked for them, and then there was a time I stayed for them uh, right through grad school, and then I looked around, and, you know, in Nebraska, everybody is... 23 and married and and that wasn't me. <laughs> I was like, it's time for me to go. You know, it's time I'm gonna to go, go to Los Angeles. Yeah. So I always knew I wanted to either move to New York or LA. So I did internships in both cities first, and then when I came out to LA, I just loved it and was sad to move back. So what do you love about I, Los Angeles? You know, I love um, I love the creativity. I love um, there's so many like interesting people. I love the culture. You know, unfortunately in Nebraska we don't have a lot of that. <laughs> you know, and plus we had really cold winters. Mm -hmm. So I was happy to get out of that and just. I I love right. the sun. I love the beaches. Mm -hmm. I like the hiking. There's just so much to do here, and there's so much just, you know, you can go snow skiing an hour away. You can go to the beach. So I like all and this. And you get to be part. whoever you want to be yes. in LA. That's one of the mm -hmm. things I love most, and then gave you the opportunity to create your brand, right. Tom yeah. Girl. Yeah, so mm -hmm. tell us about Tom Girl. What does that represent yeah. exactly? So it's kind of, you know, I was out here and like how I met you in hosting classes, and you're know, trying yeah. to figure yeah. out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You know, trying to figure out, okay, um, you know, what is my, what's my thing? And, you know, I always grew up a tomboy. I had an older brother, and I always grew up trying to keep up with the boys and, of course, love sports. But I always always get people that be like, oh, you know, you don't do sports because you'd be, like, fashion, you know? So then somebody said in a class once, like, oh, you're like a tom girl because it combines, like, you're a tomboy, but you love fashion and entertainment and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So that really, like, clicked for me, this moment that was said. And, and I think there's a whole community of, of women out there who, like, feel the same. That's been one of the fun things about the show seeing people like that who you know they they may be like in the fashion they'll have people say like oh you're not a basketball player you look like that so it's kind of changing people's mentality of what they think female athletes and adventurers I are supposed that. to look you like know, we had ricky revel on the show the other day and he has a new video that's about the gender wheel and like how you know, even throughout the day now, I think in today's world, especially as women, we, we take on different roles. Like sometimes we have to be more alpha, more leadership. Sometimes we want to become more feminine, more omega. What does that mm -hmm. look like for you? Do you feel like you're always a tom girl or do you kind of switch into the different? I definitely, definitely think switching into the different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's times when, yeah, I'll feel like that strong, aggressive athlete in me coming out. But then there's the other times when you switch into the more, more vulnerable or the more, you know, feminine aspects as well. So I think it's been kind of embracing mm -hmm knowing that each one of those are all okay and all part of part of us. When did you get to that point or what led you to that point of sort of being able to embrace like all sides of yourself? It's definitely been a yeah. process <laughs> for sure. Um, you know, and I, you go, go through a lot of, you know, especially with sports too, where there was a lot of up and downs. It's like in high school, it was fantastic and you're, you're at the like top in your area and stuff. And then going to college and being at a D1 university was a little different experience where all of a sudden you're sitting on the bench and you're not quite out there, you're not the star. So that there was, you know, some shifting and changing and and that and that kind of I lost my I lost myself a little bit in that because I, I lost a lot of my confidence and um, so I had to work to regain get that back too like after college um, that's something people don't rec really realize I think sometimes that mm -hmm. being a sort of especially a d1 athlete can be really demoralizing actually mm -hmm. in lots of ways yeah, yeah. 
How did you build that confidence back up? Yeah, you, it's true because I've actually talked to a, with a lot of athletes too, and everybody's had similar experiences, or some don't end up finishing, and or you know, and also in your college, you're you're traveling a lot, so you kind of don't get the full some sort of college experience as well because you you get um, so much time is spent in practicing. Uh, yeah, you know, it just took I guess getting back to um, finding the things that I love to do, and uh, you know, because then I got out here, you get consumed with work a little a lot too. Um, but then I really started finding like what I what I love now. And it's like I love Tom Girl and I love hosting and I love doing I do voiceover as well and I work for CBS and I love each of those aspects. So I think it was getting back and feeling like really trying to focus on things that I love doing that like made me happy and fulfilled me and then it all started coming back and getting on the routine. I started like getting back to like okay work working out in the mornings and knowing like how my body works best and how I mentally function best throughout my day. So, so tell yeah. us about your show. So we cover sports, entertainment, fashion, and adventure. So we'll have people from all all walks of life. Um, I like to combine. It's kind of like the, I guess a GQ magazine show for you know for the Tom Girl world. Um, but it's also like showing those people not miss. So if you have an actor, it's not really just talking about their role on the show. It's talking about will they like to go hiking, you know, there or there are like a snowboard or like the other thing aspects of their life that maybe people don't just don't see all the time. It's my favorite kind of shows. Well, yeah. she, recently Sarah Pendrick was on the show. She's a friend of ours and mm -hmm. has been a guest. Girl Talk Network, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. So she was just on yesterday or Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Uh, yeah. And I loved her community because it's also about um, I also want to grow like a good strong female community and I love what she's doing and everything that she's, ta she's talking about. So I just trying to find a place where girls can all or we can also talk about like, hey, you know, I love looking at adventure people on Instagram. And so we can share like, oh, my gosh, if you like to do this, then you need to go um, experience this you know, this crazy adventure or, you know, so, so kind of find a community where people can like interweave and find things that they're really passionate about. I love about. that you have created that community for yourself and you really prioritize your self care. I mean, I'm watching mm -hmm. you on Instagram and you're going all over the world doing all these amazing things on your bucket list. And it doesn't seem like you're waiting for anything. You're not waiting for the moment when it's going to be perfect. Then I will go on this vacation. Then I will be this beautiful goddess self. Mm -hmm. You're living in the moment and embracing that now. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that was a shift and change for me as well, too, because it's yeah. like now a lot of my friends and everybody, they are married and they have kids and those kinds of things. And it's like I, I finally was like, I, I just got to, I just have to live my life and do the things that I want to do. So yeah, I just hiked the Havasupai Falls, which was something on my bucket list. So I just did that uh, last month. And, you know, I just finally was like, I just have to live. And I want, there's so many fun things out there and there's so much to this life that I just want to explore and take in. Um, so yeah, I guess I probably about two years ago when the show kind of started really made the intention of like, I really want to start doing those things and I really want to start meeting a lot of people who are doing those things. So I want to have the show so I can bring them in and, and talk to them about and how, about how they're doing it as well. Don't wait for the time to be perfect. The time is now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. For, sure. Yeah. Sorry, for sure. What do you think has allowed you to make a living from following your bliss. Because I think that's ultimately what yeah. everybody wants to do. They want to do what they love and they want to make enough money doing it that they can, can continue doing it yeah. and only it. Yeah. So what is it, you know, how's that worked for you? Well, I'm still in that because I ultimately, yes, if I could just be doing, you know, the, the Tom Girl show I definitely have bigger dreams for and I want that to happen. So keeping that out there. But um, I have been very fortunate to be at CBS Television. They have been fantastic to me, and that was my first job. Literally two weeks after I landed out in California, and I have a really good. I work in the on-air promo group, and they're just been. They've been so supportive and kind to me with other things that I want to follow. And that's actually one of my first jobs there was directing the voiceover sessions, and I was like, oh, I love this. So they were supportive and helping me get into voiceover. So it's so I do. I hustle. Like there's definitely <laughs> a few things that you do in order to be sure. able to do. You know. Like um, I can't do it full time yet, but but those jobs and having those, make, using the connections I make from the different jobs, and and also putting it out there before I was like, oh, I don't know if I should tell like them that I want to do these other things. But then once I kind of opened that all up and was like, well, this is who I am. This is what I want to do. I hope this can all work out for everybody. They it was just like this overwhelming support where they also were like, oh, we heard your voice on this, or we heard you're doing this, or wait, tell us about Tom Girl. We want to know about. So instead of trying to keep things like 
you know, to myself or like not let people know I'm doing all these extra side side things, you know, once I kind of opened that up and just started putting it all out there, then it really started taking off yeah. more as well. Such a good point. Yeah, because I think it can be challenging sometimes. You're like, do I want to share everything? Is that going to dilute or somehow take away from this other thing, mm -hmm. main thing that I wanted to do? But in your case, it's definitely contributed um, really positively. To and it's involved. amazing. Yeah. The more you tell your story, the more people will embrace you, love you, support you and build you up, especially in Los Angeles. And I think that's so important because people don't necessarily want to always be open about what they're experiencing mm -hmm. emotionally or what they're pursuing until they've got it all figured out, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, let people in and let them help you grow. Yeah. Go up together. That's huge because even even with the town girl, like I, I I see in my head some different things. So it's hard because we're such perfectionists. Oh, and, absolutely. And I was telling you like a long time what held me back from starting it because I had the idea like years before it actually got going was like no I wanted it to be this big show and I wanted to be shooting people out like I like interviewed a pro skimboarder. I want to be out there shooting her. Blah, blah, blah. But then I had to be like okay wait I don't have those resources right now. But if I keep waiting for that it's never going to happen. And now let's just start it started as the talk show and yeah. get things rolling and not always wait till you're till perfect or everything's perfect. So where can people watch the show? How can they find you? You can follow it at Tom Grill TV. You can watch it on After Buzz TV at six o'clock on Tuesday nights. There's a Tom Grill YouTube page. You can find it. Um, you can also follow me at JJ Jurgens. But yeah, look for Tom Grill everywhere. Tom Grill TV. It. You're such a yeah. light. Thank you True. so much. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you for so being much here. here. I love your guys' <laughs> show. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Good morning, La La Land.